Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Esperanza. I am a full-time content creator going on over five years now with a background in interior design and I've been living in Pittsburgh with my fiance and our Labradoodle Indio. He's actually down here, so he is in the video right now. You can probably hear him making little noises. So we have been living in Pittsburgh for going on two plus years now it's been like two years and a month so here on my youtube channel and also on my socials at the urban darling and my blog theurbandarling.com i covered a lot of content in the travel fashion home diy and just overall style content in general so today's video is actually going to be a fall clothing haul with a clothing brand that i have been working with for probably almost four years now. They are a Nashville-based clothing brand called Able, and they make very high quality clothing essentials for your wardrobe. But before I get into the video, I wanted to make sure that you guys are subscribed to my YouTube channel and that you have your bell notifications turned on so that you'll be notified whenever I have a new video. I am uploading two vlogs a week, Friday and Sunday, with shorts in between. So here is Indio. You can see his little head right now. I'm actually filming this video on a Thursday and I was waiting until Thursday, Friday to film my vlogs for the week because it was supposed to be sunny on these days. And it turns out that it's no longer going to be sunny. So I'm really sorry if the lighting is bad during the video. Hopefully it will be okay. Okay, so I have about five to six shackets to show you guys, a pair of boots and also a pair of pants. I'm actually wearing one of the sweaters right now. I have the tag right here. It is the Christina Boyfriend in their mushroom color. So it's basically a boyfriend style cardigan. So it's a little bit oversized. You've got pockets right here buttons down the front in basically this really cute little light wood and it's kind of like so the color is called mushroom so it's like a beigey creamy almost kind of like a pinky taupe type color so i love the cable knit look and it's actually super soft so i had on a wool sweater this morning and once i took it off and put this on i was actually a little bit surprised at just how warm this sweater actually is but it really is so cozy i have it layered over a little cami right now but you can totally throw on like a scarf and a jacket and just layer it up for the fall season okay so here is the stack of clothing besides the sweater that i'm already wearing and then the boots as well so i already tried on the jeans and they are actually just a little too long for me i'll show them to you guys really quickly so these are their ashley flare in a size 26 which did fit me super well except for the pants like the um inseam or the length of the pants was just too long for me like about this long too long so i'm not even gonna try them on for you guys um and that's just because i have like very short legs so i always always have had this problem especially with like this style where it's a 70s wide leg unfortunately so like I love that style, but it's really, really hard to get the right length for my legs. So I just will probably have to get these tailored to the right length, but they are super stretchy, very comfy, and they fit perfectly like on my waist and curves and everything besides the fact that they were just a little too long for my short legs. So I think I'll just get these tailored at some point soon, hopefully. Okay, so I just put on the boots, which I'll show you guys in a second. And I also just put on their Norma zip front. So I have it zipped down right now, but you could zip it to more like this length, or you could zip it up a little bit higher and kind of just like show off this cute little cuff. Not sure what you call these kinds of collars um or just like zip it up all of the way like that so that it's like more of a turtleneck 
which I think is super cute. And I actually love having that option in the fall or winter because if your neck is covered, then you are pretty much going to be good to go um, as far as being like warm everywhere else. Because basically as long as your neck is warm and you're not getting any chill going down your neck, then you'll most likely not get sick as much is what my abuelita always used to tell me. So I actually think it's super cute like that and um, styled underneath like my leather bomber. That's totally a way that I would style this for like another layer, um, especially where I live in Pittsburgh, it's really cold. So I'm all about the layers, but if you live somewhere where it doesn't get as cold, this would totally be great for fall. Okay, so here is what the bottom looks like doesn't have like an extra cuff or anything um it does have an extra cuff on the sleeve though so super cute and then here are the boots so they go to about mid calf and then there's actually um straps all the way down the front so they're tied up all the way right now but just like a really cute combat boot um, I think the box said, but I forgot to check, so I can't look right now, but I'll try to link everything that I can down below. So here is a closer look at these. So they're kind of like a purpley orange color, so they look super cute with this orange sweater and with like the mushroom colored sweaters, which I have two of. I also have a white sweater to show you guys. So it kind of just like lends itself to a bunch of different styles, perfect for fall. Also, I love this rusty orange color for fall. Our bedspread is actually this same color um, from a parachute. And it's definitely one of my favorite colors for fall, but also just one of like my favorite colors in general. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on the second sweater, which is the Claudette in this really pretty white color. Okay, so I have the Claudette sweater on now. So it is a very pretty, like traditional kind of cable knit um, fisherman style sweater. I think that's what you would call this. Um, but it has like that really pretty cable knit detail on it, on the sleeves and everything. Okay, so I'm wearing it with my Levi's bunch of jeans right now. I do sometimes tuck it in, but just so you guys can see, it goes a little bit past my waistline. So just like a really classic white sweater for fall is always super cute styled under like a teddy coat or something like that. I was actually really wanting a sweater just like this because I really love this look. It kind of reminds me of like East Coast, even like a coastal grandmother vibes. And it's always just such a cute sweater for fall and winter. So I'm glad I'm able to add this to my wardrobe. I have a couple of thrifted sweaters, but they're not quite the right size or style. So this is absolutely perfect and will be such a classic go-to piece. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on the next sweater, which is the Ruth button front. So it has that same style that the other zip front sweater had same kind of a neckline and everything but with the buttons instead and it's the same color and um i think like woven details that the first sweater i had on but that one was a little bit different because it's like a cable knit boyfriend cardigan style whereas this has more of like that fisherman's like cable knit more traditional style if that makes sense so i'll go ahead and put this on for you guys Okay, so here is what it looks like on. So there are one, two, three, four, five buttons up the front. I don't have them all buttoned up right now, but you could button up all the sweaters and do more of like a turtleneck style, just like the zip front sweater. So that's really, really cute. Or just a couple of buttons kind of like fold the collar, that kind of thing. So it has all these like really pretty cable knit details on it, like the fisherman style sweater that I just had on. Um, it has like a cardigan, like a kind of cropped cardigan fit. And then it also has like these slits on the side for maybe like breathability or something, or 
just to make it a little bit more of a casual fit. So it looks really cute actually without tucking it into jeans or anything like that and just more of like a slouchy look. It's really cute. Got my Levi's wedgie jeans on and looks really cute coordinated with these kind of like purpley orangey combat boots. So love that those go with all of the sweaters and I'm so sad that the jeans didn't work because the jeans would have looked super cute with all these sweaters as well. Um, they have like a 70s flare look to them so I thought that would be cute for a 70s vibe so I'm so sad that I don't get to show that to you guys but that was the look and vibe that I was going for basically. Okay so I have two more pieces to show you guys. One is a sweater vest and then the other is a jacket. So the sweater vest would actually look super cute with a white long sleeve like button up blouse. I don't have one like that. The only white blouse I have is actually like a three quarter sleeve. So it's not quite the right look. So I do need to find myself like the perfect white button up long sleeve because I always think that those look best underneath sweater vests like this. So I'll probably just show you guys what the sweater vest looks like without a long sleeve button up underneath it, but that is what I would style it with. So I will put that on next for you guys. Okay, so I have the Chloe sweater vest on now. It has this really cute like herringbone um, pattern on it. Um, we've got kind of like a double tone, two tone look going on as well with the collar that's like this really pretty tannish beige color. And then the herringbone pattern is in kind of like a rustier gold color. So it's kind of like beige and gold goes down to about mid hip. And it also has the like slits on the side. So I think that that makes it easier for like when you're wearing a white long sleeve like button up with it or even like for um, if you want to tuck like the front maybe um, or just like wear it slouchy and casual. Super cute though and it would look really, really cute with a white long sleeve like I said which is how I would probably style it for fall but if I lived somewhere where it wasn't super cold then maybe I would just wear this little sweater vest like this, throw on like a jacket if it got colder, but I think this is super, super cute. And here's what it looks like, just styled with my Levi's wedgie jeans. Super cute, but I'm gonna have to get that white long sleeve pronto. Okay, so I have the last item on, which is the Joan jacket. It is a thicker corduroy material, um, so kind of similar to like the long sleeve button up that I would want to wear like under that sweater vest. But this, because it's a jacket, it's a little bit too thick to go under um, that like that specific sweater vest. But this I would probably style either like on its own with maybe a cute light sweater underneath it, um, a cute like beanie, and actually with these boots and everything, that would be such a cute outfit for like going on a fall hike with like a beanie, maybe a scarf or something. Um, cute sweater underneath it, you could style it like open. Um, right now I just have that cami underneath it, so I have it just buttoned up. So I can show you guys what that looks like. You can button, you can unbutton a few buttons if you want, or keep it buttoned all the way to the top for more of like an outdoorsy look is also super cute. So lots of ways to style this. And I love pieces like these because I feel like you can totally dress them up or down, give them a more like casual feel or a dressier feel, just depending on how you style them. What does Anil think, huh? So I think that these outfits, like any of these outfits would look super cute at the pumpkin patch this season, or maybe for like some fall photos, huh? We need to take our fall photos soon. I need to get some cute photos for Indio's Instagram too, which if you guys want to check it out, is the Urban Labradoodle. 
oh my gosh, all of a sudden the sun is flooding in. But anyway, that is everything that I wanted to show you guys. I was really super excited for all of these packages when they arrived because I'm totally gonna to be wearing these all fall and winter and I needed some cute things for our photo shoots this fall, like I mentioned. So I am super excited to style these and I will link these pieces down below and may even be sharing on like blog or socials soon as well. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys aren't subscribed already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And also be sure to share with somebody that you think would enjoy this channel as well. That way you guys can help me grow my YouTube channel. So I'm filming this on a Thursday. It will be going up on a Friday tomorrow. And then tomorrow I'll be filming a, another vlog for Sunday. I'm not 100% sure what it's going to be. It may end up being like a fall decorating video. It may end up being um, like some Halloween costume styling. We'll see. So it'll definitely be something fun. So be sure to check back for my next video. Also don't forget to check me out on all socials at The Urban Darling and my blog, theurbandarling.com for even more content. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!